James, I'm here with the first of hopefully many guitar tutorials for you all. So today I'm going to start by looking at the actual parts of an electric guitar instead of how to play. I think this is fundamental because in coming lessons I'll start talking about your bridge pickup, your neck pickup, the neck of the guitar, the headstock, all these different things and if you don't understand the terminology behind it, you're going to be a little bit lost and you'll lose interest a bit quicker. So here is my trusty Gibson Les Paul, very expensive, very beautiful, oh, I think so anyway. Um, so I'm going to take through the fundamental parts of the guitar, starting with that lovely big slab of wood that we call the body. Lift it up so you can see the whole body. It's a very, this is a uh, tobacco burst Les Paul. Um, the reason it's called tobacco burst because obviously it starts lighter in the middle, as you can see it fades darker on the outside. Anyway, anyway, next up you have the neck of the guitar. Now this runs all the way down the back to the headstock. Now the headstock is just the top end of the guitar and also houses the tuning pegs. Now with this Les Paul it has some very special tuning pegs with a round section on the back that twists. I won't twist it but they are locking tuners. Now this can be very important when you're playing guitar because you can find that sometimes when you're playing your guitar will start to slip out of tune. Locking tuners prevent that. So coming down the front of the guitar we've got the logo, it says Les Paul standard. We have the nut, now the nut is what your strings from your tuning pegs rest on. And then running parallel to your strings that run all the way to the bottom here is your fretboard. Now your fretboard is where we change the ultra we alter the pitch of the strings even. So if I play an open note here, and then I play it by holding it down to the fifth, it changes the pitch, it gets higher. And again, we'll go to the twelfth, higher, 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 so on, so on. Same for every string. Now, alongside these, we then have the main electronics of the guitar, which are the pickups. This is the neck pickup, because it is closer to the neck of the guitar and the bridge pickup because it is closer to this next bit here which is the bridge. Now the bridge has a stop tail at the bottom on this guitar. Some guitars the strings will run through to the back. Some guitars they'll run to a little plate. Now all Les Pauls have this stop tail at the bottom. Um, it pulls the strings and holds them at both ends. So you imagine if you get a rubber band and you stretch it quite far I used to do it at school all the time, and you'd then just twang it, you know, it'd make a note. Now your guitar string works on the same principle of you're stretching it between two points, and then when you hit it with the string on your fingers it vibrates, and it vibrates to a pitch, to a note. So moving on back to the electronics of the guitar, as I say we have the pickups, we also then have the pickup selector switch, rhythm, which is traditionally your neck pickup, treble, which is traditionally our bridge pickup because this is normally a brighter sound than your neck pickup because it is closer to the bridge and closer to the point where the strings touch the body. Alongside that, you'll have electronics inside the guitar. So, this is to get access to your switch, this is to get access to the neck section. So, you plug your string, these then pick up that vibration, sending an electronic signal via the magnets inside the pickup through the body to either one of these, these are your two volume controls and these are your two tone controls. Now you have one volume and one tone on this guitar for each pickup, but this can vary. After that it comes out of the input jack here that you'll plug in and that will go to your amp, to your wireless kit, to your pedals, to recording software, to anything. Anyway guys, I hope this has been a little introduction to the guitar. We are going to start filming some content on playing, on how to hold your pick correctly, how to practice correctly, good practice technique and good practices with your guitars. Hope to catch you all soon.